the importance of medical entomology for monitoring vector-borne diseases. One of the goals of medical entomologists is to monitor potential virus-transmitting vectors. To identify these vectors, which are primarily mosquitoes, they follow a step-by-step -step taxonomic approach based on the morphological characteristics of a vector. This first step is crucial and allows them to identify and characterize specific mosquito specimens. Once identified, the next question is, does this insect constitute a public health problem? To answer this question, entomologists collect information on the vector, such as its presence in a given region, its abundance and longevity, its biting behavior, and importantly, whether it is infected by a virus. For example, the Aedes albopictus, also known as the Asian tiger mosquito, which has been found in many countries of the Mediterranean region, is now known to be a potential vector for many arboviruses, including dengue, chikungunya, zika, and yellow fever. A given geographical area could be classified as risk zero in the absence of this mosquito species, for example, but it becomes risk one if the mosquito is present. This risk assessment leads to the next question. Are we able to control the vector? The answer to this question is often urgently required, especially during an epidemic, when the number of human cases is increasing daily. Vector control strategies need to be ideally implemented before or as soon as the first cases of a disease appear, and when the problem is still limited in size and space. Indeed, these strategies may be the only way to fight an arbovirus in the absence of a vaccine or other treatment. If neglected for too long, exponential case multiplication could likely overwhelm local health systems and authorities. Such entomological monitoring and control are part of a more global surveillance scheme that helps decision-makers better prevent and control vector-borne diseases.